that oper operators have had called signaling storms, where devices or applications like Twitter are causing huge amounts of, of traffic in a signaling of a signaling nature on the radio access network. The difference between what they're seeing in the RAN and what they're going to see at the core of the network is that the diameter traffic that gets generated is actually generating revenue for the carrier, and so it's not going to be something that they're, they're going to want to limit. They're going to have to deal with that signaling storm in the core of their network in a different way than they deal with it in the radio access network. The GSM Association is predicting that $1.2 trillion worth of revenue is going to get generated in 2020 from mobile data. And carriers are getting a smaller portion of that as, as time goes past. And for them to really participate in that revenue generation potential, they need to have the tools that underline the diameter network to be able to, to get involved in that revenue creation. They need to have things like policy control and subscriber data in, along with the underlying routing technology to really be able to take advantage of the revenue potential that's out there today. As carriers start to see the revenue uh, on their networks going to over-the-top providers and not to their own access points, they'll want to participate that in, in that revenue and they need to create value. The way they create value is by creating policies that allow those over-the-top providers to access their network and provide guaranteed quality, quality of experience to the subscribers. An example of that is the Turbo Button application, where a subscriber might be able to press a button on their phone as they're watching a video and get a guaranteed quality of experience out of that video transmission during the time that the video is playing. That turbo button could be paid for by the subscriber or it could be paid, paid for by the over-the-top provider that's streaming the video to the subscriber. And either way, that turbo, bu turbo button application is being implemented using policy control in the, in the carrier's network.